Hey Capricorn, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your second week of May general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the visuals. Before I start, I want to thank you guys so much for all your beautiful compliments, um, comments, also sentiments. Thank you guys so much. I posted a picture of my daughter from her prom and her birthday on my community section here on YouTube. And you guys flooded the timeline with beautiful, beautiful sentiments. So thank you guys so much. My daughter did see it. We did read all the comments. And I thank you guys so, 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 so much for every single word of positivity. Thank you guys so much. She truly enjoyed herself. And also shout out to my friend Jermaine, who happens to be a Capricorn. My daughter went to prom with my friend Jermaine's son. So she's a freshman. He's a junior. And then, you know, our families are very close and they're friends and things like that. So thank you guys so much. And shout out to my friend Jermaine. Everything went beautifully because of her. And I'm so, so grateful. It was a beautiful experience. Thank you guys so much. Okay, so. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the visuals. When I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I got was Come Close by Common featuring Mary J. Blige. Now, Common happens to be a Pisces, and then Mary J. Blige is a fellow Capricornian. Is that a word? Capricornian? It is today. So, Mary J. Blige happens to be a Capricorn. Um, the message that I got with this was... What is that? What I got? Because I had, I had a first initial message, but then just as I started meditating over it, I got something different. Uh, okay, thank you. So what I got is they don't want to just think about you. They want to be with you. Like, they want to be in your presence. Because the part of the song that I kept hearing over and over again was when Mary J. Blige says, I know what you're thinking. You're on my mind. You're right. You're right. And it's just like, I don't just want to just think about you. I want to be in your presence. Because, again, the name of the song has come close. I don't just want to think about you. I want you near me. I want you around me. That's the message that I'm getting, okay? So let's see what we get for you guys today for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and the visuals. We're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the devil. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers for those cards, okay? Currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the Page of Pentacles. Somebody is interested in courting you, or somebody is going to come towards you, and I just feel like, you see how he's holding that pentacle close to him? I feel like somebody wants to embrace you is what I'm getting. Or you may want to embrace someone because this is your energy. You got a first, middle, or last initial of CGMW, PS, or L. We'll get it as well, okay? So let's go ahead and go through the deck until we get your major arcana again. It will be the devil. And we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And then we'll get clarifiers. Now, currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Cups. That's what I'm saying. Somebody wants to be close to you. Like, somebody feels very deeply for you. Cups is all about the feels, the emotions and feelings. Somebody wants to see you, like up close and personal. If you are in a relationship, a long distance relationship, this person wants to see you. Like they want to be in your presence physically. Someone's thoughts are running wild also, I'm getting. It's making them emotional about you or are you emotional about someone. And I did say common is a Pisces and you do have water right here. So definitely somebody who has strong Pisces placements in their chart, someone rising or Venus. Let's go through the deck. We want to get your major arcana. The devil. The card that comes before. The card that comes after. And then we should get clarifiers. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I keep hearing that. I know what you're thinking. You're on my mind. You're right. You're right. Somebody's thinking about you a lot. Somebody may be, um, even looking at this, somebody may be looking at your pictures a lot on social media or pictures that you guys had together. Pictures that you've already taken with this person. So, in front of the devil, you have the Four of Cups. Yeah, this person's thinking about you, and they're quite emotional about it. They want to reach out to you. See how the cup is reaching out? And then you also have the, yes, I know what you're thinking. The high priest is thinking. Somebody is, like, in shambles that they're not around you. Aries and also Aquarius. Not, not Aquarius, but there's no such thing as accidents. So, Aries, and now I want to say Aquarius and Scorpio. This is Aries and Scorpio, but I'm getting Aquarius also. Um, the Tower is, like, it's really hitting them now. It's really hitting them that they can't stop thinking about you. This person wants to reach out to you. You could definitely be at a distance from this person for one reason or another. High Priestess, uh, again, strong Piscean energy. And I did say the rapper Connor happens to be a Pisces. Someone's first middle last initial could be J, B, C, O, U, M, R, P, or S. Um, also, because even if you're not dealing with someone who is a Pisces, I keep getting that Pisces energy. 
Pisces season is um, February, March time frame. So during that time frame, because of the four cups, you do have three on the side. Something could have happened in March where there was an ending with you and someone or you guys have not been on the same accord since March during Pisces season. And it's like somebody wants to reach out and communicate and share their feelings or they're wishing that you would do that. Yeah, somebody wants to offer something. This second time, remember in the very beginning, you had the Page of Pentacles? Somebody's thinking about you, and they hold you in high regards. You see how he's holding that pinnacle up? Someone holds you in very high regards, but they may be immature. Pages are young, youthful. They still got growing the spanners to do. Somebody's immature here, okay? That's part of the deck. Yep, judgment card, reconciliation, bringing the situation back to life. Yeah, somebody wants to reconcile with you. Somebody wants to communicate. And I was getting that. Like, for a lot of y'all, you may not be talking to this person right now. You two could be at a distance. I did talk about long-distance relationship. You got Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Taurus, we are in Taurus season right now. So it may be like you and this person are at a distance for one reason or another. It could be work, traveling for work, or you keep getting a strong Pisces energy. Look at this. Something happened in Pisces season or involving a Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus, for sure. I, I feel like there's some distance between you and someone either physically because of work or there was a breakup or a distance emotionally, okay? Bottom of the deck, you have the king of swords in reverse. Swords, communication, and mental. Kings and queens in reverse have been stripped of their throne, stripped of their titles, stripped of their power. Also, they are taking advantage of their power. Okay, so in reverse, it's like somebody's not communicating with you. Um, they can be very cutting or aloof or distant with their communication. Let's get a clarifier for this Four of Cups. Clarifier for the Four of Cups. Somebody could be a life path or a person of year four also. Okay. I'm going to slide it up how I flipped out. Hey, man, someone's saying the truth for what it is. Upright, someone's not seeing the situation clearly. You know, they're just stuck in limbo. Somebody's just stuck in their ways. Also, I mean, I just heard in reverse is like an awakening. You see that aha moment. Someone's realizing, okay, I have to reach out to this person or I'll lose them forever. Or I have to reach out to this person in order for us to have some type of rapport or understanding. You got the four cups again. Something with four. Something happened in April. We just left, literally just left April. Something also, I was mentioning even on my daughter's birthday, her, her birthday was on the 4th. Something may have happened on the 4th of this month. For someone, I'm getting realizations because here she she has she's in the know she has knowledge and then you have like now in reverse this aha moment two major arcana is talking about acknowledging something someone is acknowledging something someone may be realizing like I don't like to be at a distance from this person because like she's floating in a certain wherever her heart is guiding her she's floating there somebody's realizing that they're meant to be in your presence so they they feel like you guys are meant to be with each other there was some type of tower for sure for sure. Let's get a clarifier for the high priestess. Clarifier for the high priestess for Capricorn, Summer Rising, Venus, and the visuals. Okay. Four of Pentacles. And look how that landed right here. That's interesting. Bottom of the deck. Queen of Cups in reverse. And then I see the sun peeking out right here. Could be done with Leo, Summer Rising, Venus, and the visual. Again, somebody's taking advantage of their power emotionally. Um, you have the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, there could have been an ending in um, Taurus season, at the beginning of Taurus season or at the end of Aries season. Four of Pentacles, if you see, he's holding on for dear life. In reverse, he's lost. Something is being released. I feel like in Taurus season, in um, April and Taurus season, like somebody, <laughs> you know, I just heard somebody done lost their mind. This person may have done something where you feel like you done lost your mind. On an emotional level, they may snap at you emotionally like they, they didn't control their emotions. And then in the Eight of Swords, Mental Imprisonment in Reverse, it's like, now that they're coming back to their senses, because they're right, they're not in their senses. Okay, there's Mental Imprisonment in Reverse. Now that they've come back to their senses, now they want to reach out to you, now they want to come towards you. Or they're getting some type of downloads, letting them know that they need to address something in order for you guys to have some type of peaceful rapport. I also feel like this person is, is feeling like, I, I don't have, I, I want to be hold, I want to be close to this person. Because come close, you saw again how that pinnacle is close to his chest, close to his heart. In reverse, this person feels like they don't have access to you the way that they want to. Like, there's a distance is what I'm getting. You got two fours here. Something with four stands out. Somebody's birthday could be the 4th, 14th, 24th. You could have been with this person for four plus years. There could have been four days since you and this person spoke to each other. There's like some cold communication or something like that. I mean, it also. Okay. 
So Capricorn, summer rising and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click that notification button. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.